Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing um, my fingerstyle version at the beginning of Lucas Graham's Seven Years um, and then showing you the chords for this. Now, if you're new to my lessons, what I do in my lessons is I take you through the areas that most people find the most challenging. Okay, in this case, this one, there's a couple of quick chord changes. So if you're a beginner, that's going to be a little challenging. Not really quick, but a little bit. Um, but it's where you change chords. So I'm going to be showing you the rhythm to make sure that you get the exact song. Okay. Now, if you didn't pick up on the tune from my little rendition there at the beginning, I will be putting just a little bit of singing over it. I don't really think my voice suits it, but I'll be helping you so, so you know where to place it with just a little bit of a vocal guide. And the other thing that this tutorial is going to give you is it's going to give you there's a little midsection in this um, that is quite important to get right. Uh, so I'm going to be taking you through how to do that. Without further ado, let's learn how to do it. So this song has got uh, three parts. It's got the um, intro, which is actually played on the piano, but I've transcribed it to guitar. So it sounds pretty cool. Little finger style intro. intro. Um, it's then got the chords and the main sort of meat of the song. And then it's got this bridge, which is the part that um, I talked about in the intro, which I'd really like for you to focus on. Um, so let's learn the intro first. What I'll do in the video description, if you just want to kind of get on with the singing and playing part, then I've included a link where, the, where that starts. Um, and I've also included a link where you can bypass the chords if you happen to know the chords as well. So the intro. So let's just learn that first little bar there. So it's third fret on the thinnest string, second fret, zero, so it's, then open on the B. Then pinching, thumb on the thickest string, middle finger on the um, B string. And then, pinching just means pulling two at the same time. Then third fret, then open, then third fret. So it's third fret, open on the B, third fret. Then, I like to move my ring finger up to the top here on the thickest string. You could use your middle if you wanted to. Pinching, thickest string there and the middle finger. So that means the B string. Then third fret on the B. And then doing that little roll of three, two, zero. So so far we've got. Okay, so I'll take it from the beginning. Okay, so you can hear this is a bit of a theme, isn't it? Three, two, zero, zero on the B. Okay, so once we do that the second time, we then go third fret on the A string, pinching, thumb on there, and middle finger. So that just basically means playing the B string, the fifth string down. Then third fret on the B. Then open on the B, and third fret on the B. All the while, leaving this note ringing, if you can. If you're using this finger, that's fine as well. And then leave that there, that ring finger, once you've done that, and play the D string, the third string down, and the middle finger as a pinch. So let's take that right from the beginning now. And then the singing starts into the chords. Okay, so the chords you're going to need for this song, and um, if you know these chords, then in just a second I'll include something on screen to tell you where to skip to. The chords you're going to need are E minor, G, F, C major 7, uh, D, and then later on for the bridge you're going to also need um, a B minor and you're going to need a B7. Okay, if you know those chords then uh, skip along to get started on the rhythm, which let's face it, if you do know those open chords, the rhythm is the part that's going to take you the longest to understand. If you don't know those chords, I'm going to be showing you how to do them right now. Okay, 
So the E minor, take your middle and ring finger, put them on the second fret on the A and the D string. Eddie 8, dynamite, goodbye Eddie, that's what I call the strings. E, A, D, G, B, E. So you've got those down, strum all six strings. The G, index finger here on the second fret on the A string, middle finger on the third fret on the E, and ring finger on the third fret on the thinnest. Okay, the C major seven. If you know a C, it's easy, you just lift up the index finger. So it's middle finger on the second fret on the D, and ring finger on the third fret on the A, and strum the bottom five. And the D, index finger on the second fret on the G, middle finger on the second fret on the B, and ring finger on the third fret on the, on the B. Sorry, middle finger's on the E, ring finger on the third fret on the B. And I just probably should mention that it's a capo on the third fret for us to be doing this correctly. I should have said that at the beginning. I'll include it in the video description. Okay. So that um, is your main chords. The other two new chords you're gonna need is a B minor. So you press down the bottom five strings with your index finger. The middle finger plays the third fret on the B and the ring and pinky plays the fourth fret on the D and G or the middle strings of the guitar and you strum the bottom five. And the B7, index finger on the first fret on the D string, middle finger on the second fret on the A, ring finger on the second fret on the G and then little finger, although this is optional, on the second fret on the thinnest string. And you strum the bottom five. So now let's have a look at how this starts. So as it comes out of this um, intro, we then make an E minor chord. Once I was seven years old. And it's a good idea to start counting straight away, all right? So when we strum an E minor, we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so always count in your head, have an inner metronome going on, and that will help you keep your time, especially when we start doing a more rhythm, all right? So we go E minor to G, if you hadn't have guessed. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Then a C major seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'll take you through that again. There is a cheeky D there, as you could see. Uh, and I'll do it just with a little bit of vocal, mainly because it helps me guide the lesson, but also hopefully it helps you so you can hear where you are. So once I was seven years old, my mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Okay, so let me just show you what's going on with the, with the D in the timing, all right? Because that's really important. It's on the word lonely that you're changing if you're singing it. But still, um, we're going to go from the C major 7. Count it like this, please. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you, you're strumming the D on the three of um, the second bar of the C major 7, all right? Or if you prefer, although I, I, it might be easy to understand like this, but I prefer you not to count it like this. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to go back to E minor after that. As I said, I prefer you to count it one, two, three, four of C major seven, then one, two, three for the D, okay? Anyway, after you've done that, you then strum an E minor again. Once I was seven years old. So it's the same. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you just hold these chords. The reason why I'm counting is because then I know how long to hold the chords for. The rhythm and the count is the one thing that um, beginners often get wrong. So that's really, really important. Now let's have a look at the overall rhythm pattern that we're going to be using for this song. So it goes one, two, three, four, and one. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Now if you're using a plectrum, good for you. Okay, that's fine. It's going to be um, a lot harder if not well, it's just going to be a lot harder to do the intro picked part with a plectrum uh, because of the pinches. Um, so if you're not and you're doing it finger style, then on your ups, my advice is use, use your index finger on the up. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and I'll do that slowly. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. And now let's get started how that goes into the first verse. It was a big, big world. 
Mm. Okay, so I'm going to go on the E minor. One, two, three. And then I'm going to change to D for the four and. Down, up. Now that takes a bit of practice because you're only playing the D for those two little quick hits. So it's one, two, three, four and. Then you're going to go to a G for one, two, three, four and. Then C major seven. One, two, three, four and. One, two, three, four and. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to play you that pattern uh, because that repeats that order of chords. E minor, D, G, uh, C major seven, D, uh, D, okay? So I'm going to take you through that without stopping and then I'm going to show you exactly where we're changing. Now, a little slower, so from the E minor, one, two, three, four, and on D, then straight away down onto G, two, three, four, and, so that is normal, then C major seven, one, two, three, four, and, the second C major seven, one, two, three, four, and. So that time, the sneaky D goes in on beat number three of the C major sevens there. Before it's been, when it's E minor, it goes on beat four, right? So it's one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, right? Down, 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 up. And at the beginning, when it's E minor to D, it goes what? Down, 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 up, then changes, okay? That is the part, I've stressed that a lot because that is the part that most people would be getting wrong because of where you're changing chord. And don't think that the vocals alone are gonna guide you on those changes because they won't. Okay, cool. And then once you've got that, that is pretty much what's gonna happen throughout the whole entire tune. So uh, if we then do a chorus with the strumming, so as one sounds eleven years old, my daddy told me go get yourself a wife or you'll be lonely. Once I was seven, So I'll just take you through that again. So it's E minor, down, down, D on the down, up, down, G, down, 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 up, C major seven. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. And then we've got C major seven just for two bars. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So there you go, that is your pattern. Works with the choruses, works with the verses. Now this is all good for you up until he sings the words, soon I'll be 60 years old. My daddy got 61, remember life and then your life becomes a better one, okay? Um, and that has a different order of chords. And this is sometimes what I haven't seen taught. So I'm gonna take you through this. This is called the bridge. So we're gonna be, um, doing a C, soon I'll be 60 years old. Now, that cheeky D is still in the same place, so it, it's, um, it's on the four and before the E minor. So it's one, two, three, four and, one, two, three, four and. Okay, so that's C major seven, two, three, D, E minor, two, three, four and. And then on 61, that's a D, one, two, three, four, So this time we go on on 61. Remember life and then your life becomes a better one. So the G is going from D to G stealing. The, the G is stealing the D second half of the bar. I'll tell you what that means. Listen. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. Let's do it with just a little bit of vocal to help you guide the changes now. So it's so I'll be 60 years old, my daddy got 61, remember life and then your life becomes a better one. Okay, cool. Then, back to C major 7. I made a, I made a man so happy when I wrote a letter once. Okay, so we go to C major 7. So it's C major 7. 
one, sorry. One, two, three, four, round one. My mistake there. So C major seven, the D is in the same place on the four. One, two, three, four, round then to E minor. When I wrote a letter once. Okay, do that just again very slowly. One, two, three, four, round one, two, three, four, round. Then you go to B minor for a whole bar. One, two, three, four, round. Then to B seven. One, two, three, four, round. So it's a man so happy when I wrote a letter once I hope my children come and visit once or twice a month okay so that's how that joins and then you're into soon I'll be 60 years old well I think the world is cold and then you're just doing the same thing as what you always have been doing that first chord progression I taught you but I thought it was really really important to teach you that um, that midsection because I haven't seen that around the bridge sorry and then the ending once I was seven years old C major seven and then once I was seven years old thanks a lot for watching this lesson please subscribe to my channel and if you've liked my style of tutorial uh, where I'm, I'm always patient and I show you the areas that most people make mistakes on um, and teach you ways of getting around that and learning how to practice it properly. Um, also, the website, learnguitarinlondon.com, has over 400 free acoustic lessons, so go check it out. Um, it's a really great resource, and uh, we're building a really good community. I mean, when I checked in last time, we were up to 12,500 members learning guitar there, so that's really, really awesome. Um, keep on playing. Have a great day.